says, my friend's daughter-in-law's sister is a Christian and a principal of a school, Richmond. They have not been forced or mandated to teach all of this awful sex stuff to the children. Why is it that their district doesn't have to teach it? Um, to be fair, if that's the case, the district is operating outside the law. Now, there are some districts that we're aware of who have actually uh, combat the law by presenting some facts about medical inaccuracies in the curriculum that are dangerous to the health of children that put kids at risk. And so um, I don't know what your school district is doing, but typically what we've seen the ACLU do is put all the pressure on the largest school districts in a geographic area. So here, let's say that might be um, Oakland Unified or San Francisco Unified. And then depending on the size of the district, they're not paying attention to the small little districts, not yet. They're going to the mid-sized districts. Um, they're sending letters around to them and asking them to ensure that they are complying with the laws. Um, the district will probably, Richmond district will probably only get away with that for a very little while. Um, and I would guess that, you know, I think the ACLU watches our presentations and this is being recorded and if it should show up on a website anywhere <laughs> and they hear about it, chances are they'll get a letter. Um, but I would say that if your district hasn't in, uh, put this in place yet, I would highly encourage your district to contact the author of the Check the Facts program because that means that they haven't taken on one of the worst curriculum and they have an opportunity to bring in one that is not deeply indoctrinating. And so if I were you, I would encourage that principal or superintendent or people you know in that district to do something good for their students um, and get ahead of this before they're slapped with a potential lawsuit from the ACLU. Now the law does not give a date of implementation. So a school district can always write back to the ACLU's letter and say, uh, thank you so much for your concern for the children in our community. Um, but if it took the state three years to create a framework, uh, I think we need at least three more years to develop our own curriculum or to investigate all available curriculum and do our due diligence review of each one of them. So there are very good ways we can be wise about how to take the necessary time to implement this.